In this video, we will try to solve this question on differentiation. The question here says if y is equal to x all over exponential x, show that the squared y over the x squared plus the y dx is equal to minus exponential minus x. Okay, so how do we solve this question? What do we do? Now, looking at the question here, we can see that we, we're given two things there the squared y over the x squared, as well as the y dx. So for this question, I would have to find the value of the y dx first, and then I'll proceed to solve or to find the value of the squared y over the x squared, then sum them up and see if you get minus exponential minus x, all right? All right, let's proceed to this. So first things first, solution. I want to write out the question, so solution. Let's write out the question. Again, don't forget that I've discussed everything about differentiation as well as all the methods of solving differentiation in a differentiation playlist. I'll leave a link to a differentiation playlist in the video description. Now, let's solve this. So, we are given that y. I'm given that y is equal to x all over exponential x. Then I'm asked to solve this question. Let's find the y dx. Now, to find the y dx, what we'll use here, or the method we'll use here, would be the quotient rule. It will be quotient rule because I'm having a term which we call u being divided by another term which we call v. Okay? So whenever you have a term being divided by another, we'll use the concept of quotient rule as discussed in our previous class. Now, for quotient through, we said u should be equal to numerator, that's x. Let's find the u dx. If I differentiate u with respect to x, that simply means dif differentiate this value here. If I differentiate x, I'll have my value as 1. So, the u dx is 1. Also, v is equal to denominator, that's this one here, exponential x. So, v is equal to exponential x. Let's differentiate this. If I differentiate exponential x, I will have my value as exponential x. So I have this. To differentiate exponential x, you have exponential x. Okay. Um, v is exponential x. Differentiating v with respect to x, that's the v dx. Our answer gives us the value of exponential x. So at this point, we've gotten the value of du dx and dv dx. Let's proceed to use quotient rule. So using quotient rule, we'll have that using quotient um, this using quotient rule what's the value of du dx or dy dx please we'll have that dy dx is equal to the quotient rule formula is v du dx minus u dv dx all over so this all over v squared this all over v squared let's impute value what's v v is this exponential x so it becomes exponential x into du dx all right what's the value of du dx look at it here the value of du dx is one so this into one minus u what's the value of u the value of u is x so minus x into dv dx look at this here the value of dv dx here is exponential x and that's equal to exponential x. So we have this all over v squared. So all over v squared. Uh, v squared. What's the value of v? V is exponential x. V squared becomes exponential x. That's v all squared. That's v squared. So we have this. Now let's proceed with solving this. This is equal to exponential x times 1 here gives you exponential x. So I have exponential x minus x multiplying exponential x gives you x exponential x so that's simply x exponential x so you have this all over for denominator what do you have there this is simply exponential x squared that becomes exponential of course x multiplies 2 here for the numerator for the part there so x multiplies 2 gives you 2x so this is the value of dy dx okay <clears throat> Now, looking at this again here, we can see that this can still be factorized, right? By factorized, I mean, looking at this, we can see exponential x here and exponential x here. So, we can factorize this. Now, how do we factorize? 
If I bring out the two terms, I have exponential x and then leaving out the negative, I have x exponential x. Now divide here by exponential x. Exponential x divide exponential x, I have 1. Right, it cancels it out, so I have 1. Exponential x divides x exponential x. It cancels this one here, and I'm left with what there? x. So if I factorize or take my HCF, of course, I'm having 1 here. There's no real common factor between 1 and x. So I'll take this as exponential x. I'm left with what there? 1 minus x when I factorize this. So this all over exponential 2x. That all ex yeah, exponential 2x gives you um, exponential 2x. Now, don't forget that if I have exponential 2x, Okay, so don't forget that if I have exponential 2x, exponential 2x is simply equal to exponential x multiplying exponential x, okay? From the laws of indices, when two terms multiply exponential, you add their parts. So x plus x gives you what there? 2x, okay? So that means this can further be expressed as exponential x into 1 minus x, that's this, all over exponential x multiplying exponential x that's still the same value of exponential 2x that works from here we can say that this will cancel this and it's gone so from here we can say that the value of dy dx is simply equal to 1 minus x all over exponential x so with this i've gotten one of the things needed in the function that means i've gotten the value of dy dx what is left is to find the value of what's there, the squared y over the x squared. And to solve that, all I have to do is to, again, differentiate the value of the y dx. That's all. All right. So to get the squared y over the x squared, I have to differentiate again. All right. So to do that, what do we do here? Now, for this question here, again, looking at this, we can see that the first thing here, that's numerator all over denominator. So they are dividing and hence, it becomes a quotient through differentiation problem again because they are dividing. Now, since it's quotient through, numerator becomes u, denominator becomes v. So I have this. So again, let's repeat the process. Let u be equal to numerator 1 minus x. Let's differentiate this. Differentiating u with respect to x, the u dx is equal to, if I differentiate 1, it gives you 0 minus if I differentiate x, it gives you 1. So I have in 0 minus 1. And if I work on this, 0 minus 1 is equal to minus 1. This is the value of du dx. So du dx is equal to negative 1. What about v? So v is equal to what I have here, which is exponential x. That's exponential x. Let's get the v dx. The v dx. To get the v dx, I will have to differentiate what I have here. And if I differentiate exponential x, as we said earlier, we'll have exponential x. That's the value of dv dx. So at this point, we can now say using quotient rule. So using quotient rule, so quotient, using quotient rule, because they are dividing, we'll now have d squared y. Now this becomes d squared y because I'm differentiating dy dx. The formula again is v du dx minus u dv dx all over v squared let's impute values that's equal to v the value of v is exponential x so v that's exponential x v du dx what is du dx du dx here is equal to minus one so this into minus one so v du dx minus u minus u what's the value of u u is equal to one minus x so u is 1 minus x, this in brackets, minus u, into dv dx. What is dv dx? dv dx here is what there? Exponential x. That's this into exponential x all over v squared. So this all over v squared. What's the value of v? v is exponential x. So it becomes exponential x. That's v all squared. Now I'm proceeding with this. This is equal to... First thing here, exponential x times 1, right? Exponential x times 1 gives you minus exponential x. That's the value. Now, let's multiply this one here. 
we'll take minus times 1, that's minus 1, times exponential x. That becomes minus 1 times exponential x, and that gives you minus exponential x. Again, repeating the process. So that's how you simplify this one, okay? Repeating the process becomes minus times minus x. That becomes plus x. Plus x times exponential x. That gives you plus x exponential x. So I have this into plus x exponential x. We have this. So I have all of this all divided by denominator, which is this one here. So x multiplies it 2 there. That gives you exponential 2x. So I'm having exponential 2x. So I have this. Let's simplify further. This is equal to... Now, you know that if I have minus 1, minus 1, that gives you minus 2. Okay? So in the same concept, if I have minus exponential x, minus exponential x, it gives you what there? Minus 2 of that thing there, which is exponential x. So that means this and this, minus exponential x, minus exponential x gives you minus 2 exponential x. Okay, I'm write this better. x, all right. This plus, what I have here becomes x exponential x. So x exponential x all over exponential 2x. Let's proceed with this. From here, you have exponential x and exponential x. So that will now be exponential x, right? If I take off exponential x here, which is this, you're left with minus 2. So I have minus 2. Then plus, if I take off exponential x here, you're left with plus x. So plus x all over. Again, we've already factorized exponential 2x as being exponential x multiplying exponential x. We discussed this earlier. From here, this would cancel this. So that means the square root over dx squared is equal to minus 2 plus x, which can still be written as x minus 2 all over exponential x. So that still works. Now, looking at the big picture, we said the square y all over dx squared plus dy dx. So let's put in the, our values and see if you are correct. This will be equal to d squared y over dx squared is equal to minus 2 plus x. So that's um, minus 2 plus x all over exponential x. This is the value of uh, d squared y over dx squared. Yep. Plus dy dx. So this value plus, let's add the value of dy dx. What is the value of dy dx? Let's check this again. I'm coming back to, let's see this, coming back to this. Okay, let's get the value of dy dx. Give me some minutes. All right, you can see here, dy dx is actually equal to 1 minus x all over exponential x. Okay, so 1 minus x, 1 minus x all over exponential x. So we have this. So this is the value of d squared over dx squared. This is the value of dy dx. Let's solve this. Now, in solving this, this will be equal to, whenever you're having the same denominator, you can just add all the terms at numerator. So I'm saying if I have 1 all over a plus 2 all over a, since I have the same denominator here and here, that gives you a, just add up everything you have here. That becomes 1 plus 2, and that gives you 3 all over a. This is mathematically correct. Okay, now let's, uh, let's apply the idea here. I'm having the same denominator there as exponential x. So I have exponential x it becomes this one here, which is minus 2 plus x plus, add up this one here, 1 minus x, 1 minus x, right? Same denominator, this works. And I'm having this as equal to, from here, plus x will cancel minus x, and it's off. Minus 2 plus 1 gives you minus 1 all over exponential x. Now, this can still be written as being equal to, if you have minus 1 over exponential x, it can still be written as minus 1 all over exponential x. And we know very well that from the concept of indices, if I have 1 all over a to the power m, this is equal to a to the power. To eliminate this one here, I'll put a minus, then bring the power here, minus m. 
okay so that means this will be equal to i have the minus sign here which is minus exponential to eliminate this one here it becomes negative so negative and then this x here that becomes x so looking at this we can see that we have now arrived at the answer right we said it will be minus exponential minus x and we asked to prove that and when we solve this of course we had the answer as that let me go back to the question very quick let's see let's see look at this so you can see we have this exact answer as we are told so that means our work is correct so basically this is how you solve this question okay i've prepared a playlist on differentiation that shows you all the method of differentiation i'll leave a link it's free and i'll leave a link to the differentiation playlist in the video description okay all right, if you enjoyed this video, all right, so if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button. All right, so give this video a thumbs up, hit the like button, leave a comment. If you enjoyed the video, tell us you enjoyed the video in the comment section. Don't forget to also subscribe. If it's your first time here or you're yet to subscribe, please do well to subscribe. Hit the bell icon, select all so that you get notified whenever we upload a new content. Then finally, do all to share this video to your friends, your colleagues, so that they can also learn. Thank you and see you in our next class.